good morning children today we are going to see chapter 1 set relations and functions exercise 1.4 what are the questions they given for first one for the curve y is equal to x cube the given curve will be y is equal to x cube curve now we are going to find out the first question what is first question the question given here y is equal to minus x cube in this exercise we are going to we are going to discuss about the reflection translate and dilation three concepts here reflection translate and dilation sir so please refer the page number 39 40 and 41 in this exercise we are going to solve like first we have to discuss sir refer the page number 39 40 41 so if you are in there given some conditions for reflection translate and dilation that will that condition or we are applying here so listen here what is the question here y is equal to minus x cube so what, what is the condition here what is the question y is equal to minus x cube now we are going to find out the already we have done we done the what is the condition for graph first we have to create the table here also you have to create the table x and y and giving whatever values you are giving yeah, your assumptions only i am giving x equal to that be minus 0 so minus 1 0 plus 1 then 2 so listen here what is the value getting for here minus 1 yeah i am for substituting i am given x value if substituting x value for minus 1 i am getting plus 1 here you are sub you are put x is equal to 0 y will be 0 here we are putting minus 1 be minus 1 here you are getting minus 8 now we are going to draw the graph so now listen here now we are going to draw the graph so then this one is x y x dash then here it will be y dash y dash now plot the points so plot the point what is the question here 1 2 3 then 1 2 3 4 5 then Minus one, minus two, minus three. Here minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, up to minus eight. That's enough work because uh, why are why axis we are getting minus here, minus eight here. Now we are going to plot the points. Listen here. What is the condition of given here? So here points minus one comma one. So minus one in the x-axis plus y y is equal to plus one in the y-axis minus one comma. One we have to plot here. It will be x-axis. Then to put minus one comma one again. Zero comma zero is a origin. Zero comma zero is a origin. Then one comma minus one. X-axis it will be plus one. Then minus one. We have we have to write like this. We have to plot here. Here minus one comma sorry plus one comma minus one. Then two comma minus eight. What is the point here? Plus two comma minus eight. Plus two comma minus eight. You have to point here. Minus plus two comma minus eight. You have to draw draw like this. The curve. The curve will go like this. The curve will go like this. Okay. First, fix the what is the what is the curve getting here? This one is a reflection of the because here y is equal to x cube will be a positive. Here y is equal to minus x cube. Here curve like this. Here we are getting the curve like this. It is a reflection. What is the condition you are going to write here? So listen. Now we have to write the condition for the first question. What is the condition here? Let f of x equal to x cube. F of x is equal to x cube then y is equal to minus x cube it is a condition in the page number 39 now we are going to write the condition this is the reflection of this is the reflection of the graph graph here yes, about about the y axis this is the reflection of graph f about x axis it looks like a reflection of the graph f about the x axis it is a condition of the simplest one okay then we are going to find out the now we are we see the second one what is the question they given here so that y is equal to 
x cube plus 1. This is here, y is equal to x cube plus 1. Here we are going to draw the, what is the condition for x cube plus 1? Now take page number 39 in the textbook. See the condition. So y is equal to f of minus 6. So see the figure 1.47. Below the power, see the power, three conditions are there. Let y is equal to minus f of x is the reflection of the graph of f above the x axis. Then y is equal to f of minus x is the reflection of the graph of f above y axis. Then y is equal to f inverse of x is the reflection of the graph of f in y is equal to x. Now we are going to find out that here they are giving x cube plus 1. So now now come to the page number 40. What is the condition for translation here? X plus C. Y is equal to. So a translation is a graph is a vertical or horizontal shift of the graph that produces congruent graphs. That produces congruent graph. Y is equal to F of X plus C, comma, C greater than 0 causes the shift of the left. So it will be 0 causes the shift to the left. Then f of y is equal to f of x minus c, c greater than 0 causes the shift to the right. Then y is equal to f of x plus d, comma, d greater than 0 causes shift to the upward. Then fourth final one, y is equal to f of x minus d, comma, d greater than 0 causes the shift to the downwards. So now we are using this condition from this question. What is the question that given here? x cube plus 1. x cube plus 1. What is the condition are given here for plus c? So causes the shift to the left. Shift to the left. Here we are going to shift to the. Now we are going to apply the first create the table. So now listen, we are going to create a table. 0, minus 1, comma, plus 1, minus 2, then 2 here. Then we are getting here for we are putting 0 here, plus you are getting 1. If you are applying for minus 1 here, minus 1 cube plus 1 that will be 0. We are getting 0. Then, then we are going to uh, substitute the 1 in that will be you are getting minus that will be 2. Here you are getting minus 7 because minus 2, minus 2 cube that will be minus 8 plus 1 that will be minus 7. Then here you have a 2 cube will be that will be getting 9. Now we are going to draw the graph. Now we are going to draw the graph. The same procedure, same condition we are going to find out here. Now listen. What is the condition here? What is the values you are getting here? Draw the graph. X, X dash. Sorry. Y. X dash. Then Y dash. Now we are applying a plot the points. Now let's see here. What is the points we are getting there? 0, comma, that will be plot the point 0, then 1. 0, comma, 0. So in y axis, you have 1 here, you have to put here. That will be 0, comma, 1. Then minus 1, comma, 0. Minus 1, comma, 0. In x axis, minus 1. Y axis, that will be, you have to plot here. Minus 1, comma, 0. Then what is this point here? 1, comma, 2. In x axis 1, here y axis 2. That is 1, comma 2, then minus 2, comma minus 7. In x axis minus 2, minus 7 is equal to to plot. plot the point here. Minus 2, comma minus 7, then so 2, comma 9. x axis 2, and y axis 2, comma 9. Now draw the curve. Now draw the curve. Draw the curve like this. 
What is the curve we are getting here? It looks that it is not traveling to the origin. Listen. If the question given for y is equal to x cube plus 1, we are in, in, in the question y is equal to x cube curve, it will be it will be goes into the origin way. In here we are getting that it is not going to it is not goes into the origin because it will be one. What is the condition that shift to one point will be upward? Shift to one point will be because your condition y is equal to x cube plus one. What is the condition for x plus c that will be shift to shift to left? Okay, listen here. Here we are having only positive value. Here we are going to shift the point into one point. Shift to the point one point upward. So now, uh, now I write the condition for here. What is the condition or what is the condition going to write here? Like y is equal to f of x plus one. Like y is equal to f of x plus one. F of x plus one. The this is the graph. This is the graph. Then f of x shifts to here f of x shift to the upward f of x shift to the upward for one unit upward for one unit here we are having x cube plus one what is the condition it is shift to upward for one unit ok let's see the next question what is the question they given here? x cube minus 1. Now listen here. Same condition, same question here. x cube minus 1. So what is the value of x cube minus 1? Now we are going to find out the value for y. So listen, I am substituting x equal to 0 means that will be minus 1 getting minus 1 here minus 1 means minus 1 cube that will be minus 1 that will be getting minus 2 then plus 1 that will be 0 2 here we are getting we are substituting a minus 9 here we are getting plus 7 so now we are going to draw the graph so now listen here minus 2 minus 1 so here we draw the plot of points 0, comma, minus 1. 0, comma, in x axis 0, y axis in the minus 1 here. We are going to apply that. 0, comma, minus 1. Then minus 1, comma, minus 2. Minus 1, minus 2. Minus 1, comma, minus 2. Then 1, comma, 0. So in x axis 1. So 1, comma, 0. 1, comma, 0. Here. Then minus 2, comma, minus 9. Minus 2, then minus 9. Minus 2, comma, minus 9, then 2, comma, 7. So x axis 2, then here, 2, comma, 7. 2, comma, 7. Now, now draw the curve. Now draw the curve like this. So now draw the curve like this. What is the curve getting here? You are getting curve like this. What is the condition for? What is the condition given for page number? Take page number 40. F of x minus c causes the shift to the right. So here we are going to shift to the downward one. Here we are getting it is not go, it is not goes into the origin, it will be shift to one point and downwards. If the value will be plus here, in last in last sum will be done. One point it will be goes up shifting to the upward. In here we are getting minus here. Here we are going to find out the one point downward shift to one point downwards here. Here. So let's next next question. What is the question they given for fourth question? Y is equal to x plus 1 the whole cube so what is the question they are given here x plus 1 the whole cube here is also you have to first find out the table now we have to draw the table x y 
then 0 minus 1 plus 1 then 2 minus 1 you have to draw the table like this so listen you are applying 1 0 plus 1 1 to 1 minus 1 means that will be 0 that answer getting 0 if you are substituting the value 1 that will be 2 cube the value will be 8 so here 2 plus 1 3 3 2 plus 1 3 3 cube that will be 27 so then then you have to apply minus 2 minus 1 getting minus 1 is the answer so now we are going to draw the graph so listen what is the conditions are given here 27 now i am putting like this 3 sorry 3 9 3 6 9 12 15 18 21 24 and 27 so here also you have to draw like this minus 3 minus 6 minus 9 scale will be your choice you already studied in the 10th standard how to scale the scale how to scale the graph how to give the scale for the graph now listen here what is the condition of given here what is the points are got the point 0 comma 1 0 comma 0 comma plus 1 in y axis one you have to plot like this 0 comma 1 then minus 1 comma 0 in x axis minus 1 comma 0 you have to plot here minus 1 comma 0 then 1 comma 8 1 comma x axis 1 here 1 comma what the y axis value that will be 8 area you have to put you have to mark here 1 comma 8 then minus 2 comma minus 1 minus 2 comma minus 1 now we are minus 2 comma minus 1 now, now draw the curve now draw the curve now draw the curve like this so what is the condition we are getting here so shift to left for one unit shift to in the origin shift to left shift to left for one unit so what is the condition for for the x plus 1 the whole cube shift one unit for shift one unit left to the left from the origin so now we have to write the condition here y is equal to x plus 1 cube causes graph causes the graph shift f of x shift to the left shift to the left for one unit because y is equal to x cube now I am we are only comparing with the y is equal to x cube so y is equal to x cube it will be goes into the origin now here we are getting a point the question is x plus 1 the whole cube the condition will be the cos of the graph f of x uh, getting shift to the left for one unit shift to the left for one unit left side will be what is the point here that will be minus 1 comma 0 shift one point left to the for one unit ok now let us see the second question so in this line it will be easiest one you know already just we are going, we are going first, first go through the conditions here first we have to go through the conditions from the page number 39 40 and 41 so there, then we are going now we, now we are going to see the second one what is the question given there for the curve for the curve x power of y is equal to x power of 1 by 3 given figure what is the given figure in the question? Now take your book. So listen here. What is the curve or drawn from the question here? So here 1, 2, 3. 
x then minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 then x dash here minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 then 1 2 3 this one is a y y dash what is the curve given in the question here this one it will be drawn like this in this curve goes into the origin listen in this curve go, goes into the origin it will be drawn into the origin type okay now listen so what is the first question they given here y is equal to y is equal to minus x power of 1 by 3 so it will be the reflection type in, in this sum you are going to find out the reflection type so solve the reflection what is the reflection here here we are getting that will be 1 comma 1 here we are getting 0 comma 1 then here we are getting minus 1 comma 1 what is the point here 1 comma 1 0 comma 1 then minus 1 comma 1 now I am going to change the values for x because it will be the y is equal to x power of 1 by 3 will be positive here we are, we are having y is equal to minus x power of 1 by 3 I am changing the x value for minus here now I am getting the graph like this listen here here plus 1 ok it will be x axis plus 1 now I am going to draw the 1 2 3 10 1 2 3 so now we are going to draw the reverse one here we are having minus 1 minus minus x power of 1 by 3 here we are having x plus 1 x power of 1 by 3 I am changing the x values from the these points so what is the points getting here plus 1 comma plus 1 so here we are getting minus 1 means minus 1 comma in y axis plus 1 minus 1 comma in y axis plus 1 minus 1 comma I am just changing the values for x only x point only so now we are going to origin will be remain same it will be 0 comma 0 then here we are having minus 1 comma minus 1 now I am changing the x when means plus 1 comma 1 so listen x axis plus 1 then we are getting minus 1 so 1 comma minus 1 now we are getting now draw the graph now draw the curve like this now draw the curve like this so you are getting the curve it looks like a reflection it looks like a because this curve it will be looks like this one it will be minus 2 it will be goes to third quadrant 2 it will be goes to the first quadrant here we are going to second quadrant to fourth quadrant so it looks like a reflection now we will write the condition like this y is equal to let now we are drawing find the condition for the first one this one let y is equal to y is equal to minus x power of 1 by 3 there is a reflection of that it looks like a reflection the reflection of the of the graph reflection of the graph y is equal to x power of 1 by 3 above x axis we are writing the condition here because all the conditions are given in the page number 39, 40, 41. So uh, y is equal to minus x power of 1 by 3 is the reflection of the graph. y is equal to x power of 1 by 3 above the x axis. It looks like a reflection. We, if we are standing in the mirror, it will be reflected to your. It looks like that one. In y is equal to plus graph will be, it will be comes this side. Here we are getting the graph like this. So it will be reflected for y is equal to x power of 1 by 3 let's see the second one what is the question given for second one let y is equal to x power of 1 by 3 plus 1 y is equal to x power of 1 by 3 plus 1 what is the condition for plus 1 here yeah. what is the condition for plus 1 we are already let's refer the page number 40 take page number 40 what is the condition uh, shift to the upward for one unit shift to upward for the one unit so now draw the graph directly now I will draw the graph 
What's the graph given for y is equal to x cube here? 1, 2, 3, then x minus 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, x dash y to y dash, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So here we are having minus 1, comma 1. What is the graph here? Plus 1, comma 1, then 0, comma 0, then here minus 1, comma minus 1. Now we have to draw the graph like this. Draw the graph like this. Now listen to that. Here, what is the, what is the question given here? What is the given question now here? y is equal to x power of 1 by 3 that will be plus 1 comma 1 0 comma 0 minus 1 comma 1 the product product points here we are now what is the condition for x power of 1 by 3 plus 1 that will be x plus 1 now what is the condition shift to upward for 1 unit shift to upward for now we have to draw like this shift upward for it. this form then it will be go shift to upward for 1 1 unit means we have to uh, we have to uh, getting the point of the 0 comma 1 so 0 comma 1 so here we are getting in this point it will be goes shift to 1 point means this point also goes to 1 point shift up upward so listen here this point will be goes here now you have to write like this what is the point getting here minus 1 comma minus 1 comma 0 then here we are going to shift 1 point upward so what is the, what is the point here 1 comma 1 now I am going to shift to 1 point means 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 now draw the graph now draw the curve like this in this point in this point it will not goes into the origin line so in this point it will be not goes into the origin line because we are shifting one point from the origin so what is the condition you are going to write here let Let's write the condition here. Y is equal to x power of 1 by 3 plus 1. Y is equal to x power of 1 by 3 plus 1. In this again, third and fourth question will be homework for you. Let's see the question number 3. So listen, what is the question they given here? Graph the function f of x equal to x cube. And g of x equal to graph the function f of x is equal to x cube and g of x is equal to cube root of x cube root of cube root of x on the same coordinate plane, plane plane find f of g and graph it on the plane as well explain your result so we are going to find f of g now we are going to find that f of g. What is the condition over here? Given here, f of, given question the f of x equal to x cube. Then g of x is equal to cubic root of x. So g of x equal to cubic root of x. Let's draw the graph first here. Let's draw a graph for we already seen in the there will be f of x equal to that will be y. You have to consider like f of x equal to y y is equal to x cubic first question we draw the graph like this so listen what is the, what is the graph to draw like this minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 then it is the easy this question is the easiest one 1 2 3 what is the first question we have to draw what is the question given here for x is equal to y is equal to x cube now we have to draw, draw that curve so here 1 origin then minus 1 now draw the curve like this this one this curve will be y is equal to x cube curve this one this curve will be y is equal to x cube curve so next one next curve what, what is the question given here this one is a g of x curve cube root of x cube now we have to write like this x power of 1 by 2 it is also equal to this one so what is the condition here? G of x equal to x power of 1 by 3. So in second question, what is the what is the curve given in the question? So the, take now take the second question. What is the curve uh, draw like this? If the curve goes like this, it will be drawn like this. 
moves the spine and it will be recover draw like this then recover will be close the spine close into the origin now is that First curve will be close to the side, then the origin comes this one, then you have to draw the curve like this. So with this curve it will be denoted by g of x is equal to that is x power 1 by 3. You have to write like this way y x y is equal to x power of 1 by 3 curve. So now here, what is the what is the question we are going to find out here? F of g. Now we are going to find out the f of g. So listen, f of g you have to write like this, f of g of x. f of g of x. So f, what is the value for g of x here? That will be x power of 1 by 3. x power of 1 by 3. It looks like f of x means you have to substitute like, you have to write like this. x. What is the f of x value? That will be x cube. We have to substitute like this x cube power of 1 by 3 so here q and q will be cancelled what is the answer getting here f of x is equal to x what is the answer getting here f of g is equal to x if f of g is equal to x means you have to write like this the curve will be if you are putting for 1 means 1 1 comma 1 if you are putting means 2 2 comma 2 the, the point will be goes into the straight line this one it will be goes into the diagonal it will be goes into these points these points will be considered 1 comma 1 these points will be considered like a minus 1 comma 1 then again minus 2 comma 2 minus 3 comma 3 so 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 because f of g is equal to x uh, now i am going putting the x means 1 why i am getting y value will be there 1 now i am going to putting put x equal to 2 so y value are also getting the 2 only. So listen here. Here we are getting 1, 1 means 1, same table only. Here. This one, this curve will be for f of g of f of g is equal to x. f of g is equal to x. This equation for answer for this question. Okay. Understand the structure, children? Now let's see that. So let's draw the x, x dash, then y. Don't forget this one. Don't forget to write this one x, y in the plane. Okay. Let's see the second one. So let's see the fourth question. What is the question they given here? Let's see the fourth question. What is the question they have given here? Write the steps to obtain the graph of the function y is equal to y is equal to 3 into x minus 1 the whole square plus 5 from the graph from the graph that will be y is equal to x square what is the graph from the graph y is equal to x square what is the graph for y is equal to x square what is the first we are going to find out the graph for y is equal to x square now listen here first we have to write the table create the table as so now i am going to put in 0 1 2 or else 1 minus 1 minus 2 plus 2 here means if you are put, uh, if you are putting the values means here 0 means 0 here you are applying 1 means 1 minus 1 means plus 1 minus 2 means that will be 4 plus 2 means you are getting that will be plus 4 so listen now plot the points into the graph now plot the points into the graph listen here so 1 2 3 4 this one is x this one is a y x dash and y dash minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 then 1 2 3 so here 1 4 so this is what is the 0 comma 0 you have to plot here 0 comma 0 then 1 comma 1 
then minus one comma minus one comma one minus one plus one here, then minus two minus two plus four here. So two ka two comma four. So it looks like a U graph. It looks like a U graph. What is the what is the graph for? Y is equal to x square. This is the graph for the y is equal to x square. First, because question they given for us, we have to find out the find out the graph. Draw the graph for the y is equal to x square graph. Then we are going to find out the three of y is equal to three into x minus one the whole square plus five. So let's see the step one. First step one will be find out the. Let's go into the find out the step two. What is the question here? Now we have to take the. Y is equal to x minus one का whole square. Y is equal to x minus one का whole square. Shift to right for one minute because here we are having x minus one का whole square. What is the condition for take page number forty? What is the condition given for x minus e? Shift to right. Shift to right for one minute. Shift right for one minute. Now we are going to draw the graph like this. Here we are. Let's okay. Here we are uh, draw the graph like this. What is the graph form? Greater than one. So 
So what is the condition for y is equal to 3? 3 to x minus 1 the whole case. Compress towards the y axis and that move away from the x axis since the multiplying factor 3 which is greater than 1 means we are going to compress. Compress means if you are going to stress, stretch means this way. Compress means this one is called compressed. So here you have to draw the line for little bit compressed one. So you have to write like this. You have to draw little bit wide. Just little bit wide one. Just little bit wide here. Just little bit wide from the because we are going to compress the compress towards the y axis compressed towards the y axis the curve will be compressed it will be little bit only compressed then what is the curve? what is step 4 for here what is the question for y? total question y is equal to 3 into x minus 1 the whole square plus 5 so here 3 into x minus 1 the whole square plus 5 now we are going to what is the condition for causes shift the 5 because it looks like x plus 1 means x plus 1 means 1 one for one unit will be upward, shift to upward. Here we are adding five means. We have to sub upward shift up to five units. So listen here. What is the shift up to? Shift upward for for five units because here we are adding five. So now I am going to shift upward for five units means now draw the same graph only. So listen here. Now I am going to shift upward for 5 units. This one is a fifth one. So now I am going to this one is a fifth one. So here fifth one. Shift upward to the 5 units. What is the compressed here? This one is a compressed equation. This one is a compressed here. Now we have to draw like this. Compress this one. We have to draw this one into the upward. So this is a upward 5 units graph. So y, y, this one is a y is equal to x square graph. This one is a y is equal to sorry, this one is a y is equal to x minus 1 the whole square graph. This one is a y is equal to 3 into x minus 1 the whole square graph. This one is a y is equal to 3 into x minus 1 square plus 5 graph. So here this one is a y is equal to x square graph. This one is a y is equal to 3 into x minus 1 the whole square curve. This one is a y is equal to x minus 1 the whole square curve. Then this one is a y is equal to 3 into x minus 1 the whole square curve. So 3 into x minus 1 the whole square curve. This one is a y is equal to 3 into x minus 1 square plus 5. So here this one is a y is equal to x square graph. This one is a y is equal to 3 into x minus 1 the whole square curve. This one is a y is equal to x minus 1 the whole square curve. children it will be left y is equal to sin x sin pi by 2 this x it causes shift left for the pi by 2 unit here we have shift left for the pi by 2 unit shift shift right for the pi by 2 unit is also correct shift left for the minus pi by 2 unit is also correct answer okay fourth question will be the fourth question will be the homework for you let's see the sixth one let's see the sixth one what's the question they given here Let's try the sixth one. From the curve y is equal to x. From the curve y is equal to x. From the curve y is equal to x. So let's draw the graph here. First, let's draw the graph here. First question we have what is the graph for y is equal to x? That will be easiest one. If you are applying, if you have put x means y also 1. If you are putting y over x equal to 2, again you are getting the 2 only. So this one, y dash. Now draw the graph like this. What is the condition for y is equal to x graph here? This it will be goes this one. It will be goes this one because 
If I am putting plus one means I am getting one comma one here then minus one minus two minus three here minus one minus two minus three then one two three. Same condition you have to write this. What is the question? First question given for y is equal to minus x. What is the question given here? Y is equal to minus x. Now we are going to draw the graph here. So what is the kind of question given? Y is equal to minus x. This is a reflection one means you have to draw like this. This one is a y is equal to x graph. This one is a y is equal to minus x. Okay, let's write the condition. What is the condition? The reflection of the y is equal to minus x is the minus x is the reflection of the reflection of the y is equal to reflection of the graph y is equal to x above the x axis y is equal to x above the x axis so it will be same on the only the reflection means this term will be reflected like this okay let's see here Let's see the second question. What is the question given here? Y is equal to x. Y is equal to 2x. Let's see the second question. So now listen here. Y is equal to 2x. What is the question for y is equal to 2x? Now I am going to put in x is equal to 1. What is the value for getting y? That will be 2. So it will be shifted into 2 units. It will be compressed towards the it will be compressed towards the y axis is more than the x axis because multiplying factor is 2 is greater than 1. The multiplying factor of 2 it is be greater than 1. The condition you have to put like this here. Now we are going to put like this point. Applying point here. So same graph will be same only. So then, now I am going to apply the minus 2 means Now I am going to minus 2 means I am getting I am putting for x is equal to minus 1 What is the value here? Minus 2 Minus 1 x axis I am getting here minus 2 Now I am going to put in Put the value minus 2 So what is the value getting here? Minus 4 So here we are, we are having minus 4 Here we are having minus 4 Now we have to here. Then I am going to apply the value for that will be 4. So that will be 4 means 2 fours are that will be 8 minus 4 means that will be we are getting minus 5 minus 6 and minus 7 minus 4 here. Yeah, this one is minus 4. I am getting the value for minus 8. Now we draw the graph for this one. Let's try. We we'll draw the curve like this. So here we are having that will be minus 8 means minus 7 then minus 8. This one is not minus. So listen here, draw the curve like this. Let's write the condition here. Let's write the condition. It will be traveling into the origin. Sorry. It will be traveling into the origin. Now we are getting. So because these graph will be traveling into the origin only. So listen. Let's draw the graph like this. Here, one, then minus one, then minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven. It will be goes into the. If I am putting this one here, we are getting minus one comma minus two here. Applying minus two means I am getting. Minus 4 here, 2 comma minus 4. I am applying minus 3 means I am getting minus 8. So this value will be comes here. Minus 4, then minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, and minus 8. So it will be traveling into the origin. Let's write the condition here. The graph, the graph. y is equal to 2x graph y is equal to 2x compressed towards the in this condition it will be compressed towards the towards the y axis moves away moves 
away from x axis moves away from x axis since the multiplying of multiplying of 2 which is greater than 1 which is greater than 1 what is the condition here same only the graph y is equal to 2x compressed towards the y axis moves away from x axis since the multiplying of 2 which is greater than 1 here we are, here we are having 1,1 1, 1. it will be no value for 1,1 1, 1. here directly we are going to apply the 2,2 2 here so so 2, so minus 1,2 1, 2 only then here it will be shifted into the 2 it will be shifted into the 2,2 2 because multiplication of 2 which is greater than 1 now we are going now let's then only we are putting plot the points on the 2,2 2. okay next two sums of homework for you third question and fourth question will be homework for 3, 4 and fifth question will be homework for you let's see the seventh one 3 3, 4 and 5 will be the homework for you let's see the seventh question 6 third one 3 and 4 and 5 will be the homework for you. Let's see the seventh question. What is the question given here? From the curve y is equal to from the curve from the curve y is equal to modulus of x y is equal to modulus of x. Let's refer the page number 40. Let's refer the page number 40. Now y is equal to modulus of x draw plus for what is the question? Find y is equal to modulus of x minus x minus 1 plus 1. So in, in this question, modulus of x means that will be consists of y is equal to plus x and y is equal to minus x. It consists modulus of x means it consists y is equal to plus x and y is equal to minus x. Let's Let's draw the graph for this one. Y is equal to modulus of x. If I am putting <coughs> here one, here it will be get like this. Graph will be comes like this. Then here it will be comes like this. In modulus of modulus of x, in modulus of x always it will be comes from positive one. In modulus of x always the value getting from positive only. Let's take the positive graph only positive curves only let's take the positive curves only listen here let's take the this positive curves only from okay this one is a y is equal to modulus of x graph this one is a y is equal to modulus of x graph what is the question given for first one here y is equal to modulus of x minus 1 plus 1 modulus of x minus 1 plus 1 so let's let's solve the question here so let's write that this one is a y, this one is x, x dash, then y dash, which will be 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So here minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Here this will go 1, 2, 3, again that will be close to. So let's solve this one. So y is equal to modulus of x minus 1 plus 1. Now we are going to apply the value for x equal to that will be 0. So let's, uh, let's draw the table y is x and y. So here now I am applying 0, 1, then minus 1, then minus 2 and plus 2. So what is the values we are getting here? My 0 means 0 minus 1, minus 1, modulus of 1 will be plus 1, that's why you are getting that will be 2. So first point that will be 0 comma 2. The next one, if I am going to apply 1 minus 1 plus 1 that will be totally 0. So the are getting 1 only. So 1 comma 1 is the next point. 1 comma 1 is the next point. Next, 
minus 1 comma minus 1 and apply to minus 1 means minus 1 minus 1 that will be minus 2 in modus it will be changed into plus plus 2 2 plus 1 that answer will be 3 so minus 1 plus 3 here then here minus 2 minus 2 then minus 1 that will be minus 3 plus 3 then you are getting minus 2 that will be 4 minus 2 here putting that will be 4 so then next 2 means 2 minus 1 that will be plus 1 uh, 2 minus 1 1 1 plus 1 that will be 2 2 comma 2 2 comma 2 here having 2 comma 2 this one is a curve this curve will be parallel to this one this curve will be parallel to this curve so let's write the condition here let's write the condition what is the condition so shift to the right for one unit and causes the shift to the upward for one unit the graph find the condition the graph y is equal to modulus of x minus 1 plus 1 shift to the shift to the right shift to the right for one unit shift to the right for one unit and the causes the and the causes the shift to the shift to the upward for one unit so listen here the graph y is equal to modulus of x minus 1 plus 1 shift to the right for one unit and causes the shift to the upward for one unit listen here shift to the shift to the right for one unit shift to the right for one unit then and causes the shift to the upward for one shift to the right for one unit and causes upward for the one unit it is a condition that will be satisfied here so next third second sum and third sum will be homework for you let's see the eighth question what is the question they given here given for eighth one Listen, children, what is the question given for 8th one? From the curve y is equal to sin x, from the curve, from the curve y is equal to sin x, draw y is equal to, draw y is equal to sin modulus of x, draw y is equal to sin modulus of x. I already told, I already told explained in the previous question what is the meaning of modulus f that it consists of minus x and plus x. So let's see the, let's draw, let's write the hint. What is the hint they are given here? Sine of minus x equal to sine, sine of minus x equal to minus sine x. What is the hint given in the question? Sine of minus x equal to minus sine x. Let's write the what is the question given y is equal to sin modulus of x. What is the graph for y is equal to sin x? What is the graph for? Let's try let's solve the sum first. Let's solve the sum. What is the condition here? Modulus of x means that will be consists plus x and minus x. If greater than 0, that will be plus x. If lesser than 0 means that will be minus. So two conditions are since sin modulus of x equal to sin x if greater than 0 and sin modulus of x means equal to sin x if lesser than 0. It is a condition only. So today let's see the Lesser than x means that will be sine of minus x. It gives sine of minus x if lesser than 0. The graph, let's write the condition here. The graph, 
the graph y is equal to sin of minus x equal to minus sin x sin of minus x equal to minus sin x is a reflection of the is the reflection of the reflection of the sin x reflection graph of sin x reflection graph of sin x about y axis about y axis what is the condition here modulus of x mean that will be consist of plus x and minus x let's see here y is equal to sin of modulus x here we have to write it first we have to find out the modulus x that will be x means plus x means greater than equal to zero minus x means if lesser than zero then sin modulus of x means sin x if greater than zero then sin modulus of x equal to sin minus x if lesser than zero the graph y is equal to sin of sin of minus x equal to minus sin x is the reflection of the graph of sin x above y axis let's draw that graph for this question so listen what is the reflection graph here what is the graph for sin x here first first what is the graph for sin x so let's refer the page number 101 and 102 so here pi by 2 pi 3 pi by 2 then 2 pi here pi by 2 minus 3 pi by 2 minus 2 pi right dash then Here we obtain one. Here we obtain minus one. Y. Here y y dash. Then what is the graph for y is equal to sine x? That will be start with. Let's take the page number one or two. Let's draw the graph here. It will be goes this one. It will be traveling into the origin. It will be goes into origin. It goes into the origin. So, what is the condition? Y is equal to sine of minus x equal to minus sine x. Is the reflection graph of sine x about y axis mean that will be reflected graph. So, it will be reflect means it will be start with the reflection graph will be draws into the same little draw it is. Is it is also goes into the goes into the origin. So, the reflection graph will be looks like this one. So, sine graph will be this one. Then reflection graph will be reflected like this. If you are, if this one is a minus, it will be changed into the plus curve. Okay, this is it is a condition for the eighth question. Okay, children, we done the first chapter in this class. Okay, next class we are going to start with the second chapter. Okay, thank you, children.